Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you a three-step process to manifest anything that you want. Now, it's funny because manifestation is becoming this big topic and everybody's talking about it. And for those of you guys that are very analytical, it might seem very woo-woo-y, like, oh yeah, come back, you know, come back down to earth, hippie. Um, but I remember back in 2006, 2007-ish, whenever that was, that The Secret came out and started talking about the law of attraction and manifesting and all these things. Um, I started trying it. it was, maybe it was 2008, 2009. I don't know when it was, but whenever it came out, I literally started to think about the fact that maybe it's possible that every one of my thoughts is this like physical thing. Like I can't physically hold it, but it sends out a frequency throughout the entire universe and I can actually start to create what it is that I want. And the harder that I, I, I focus on what it is that I wanna create, the more likely I am to get it. And what you have to realize before I give you these three tips is that you are literally a future creator. We are all artists of our life. You are sitting down every single day with a blank canvas and deciding what to paint. But are you painting the future that you want or you think about all of the shit that you don't want and then creating that to be the future that you're going to be living in? And for me, I have a very analytical brain. Like I think in facts and figures and I'm a very logical thinker. And then there's another side of me that's like, mm, let me test the boundaries and actually see like, Am, is this possible? Is there a metaphysical meaning and things that are happening behind the scenes that I can't necessarily see and I can't put facts and figures into it? So if you're out there and you're you're very woo-woo-y, I can speak to you. If you're very logical and analytical, I can also speak to you in this episode as well. So for those of you guys that are that are logical thinkers, we all know what we need to do to create the life that we want, right? We're just probably not doing it. We're mentally holding ourselves back in some sort of way. Like for me, one of the things that drives me the craziest with people is that I can tell you everything that you need to do to improve your life, to improve this, this, your relationships, business, all of these things. I can tell it to you, but you have to be the person to decide to actually take action on it, right? And so we're going to use a little bit of the, manif the manifesting and the, the metaphysical and the analytical and the scientific, and we're going to put all of those together and make a little smorgasbord in today's episode of exactly how to create the thing that you want to. And by following this, this, this manifestation is just a way for those of you guys that are, you know, if you're like the most analytical person, you're like, I don't believe in manifestation at all. Okay. What I'm going to teach you today is going to trick you into finally believing in yourself so you can finally take some action. That's what we're going to dive into today. And so for those of you guys that are spiritual thinkers, you look at this world and you see everything is vibration, right? If you're looking on video, my hand is vibrating. This table that I'm sitting at is vibrating. This microphone that you're looking at is vibrating. There's all vibrating at different frequencies. And if you look at water, water is just vibrating at a much higher frequency than like this table is. But if you were to look at this table in a microscope, you would see that it's just all vibration. It's all waves. And so we're all frequency. And so we attract the frequency that we are. Like if you're turning into a radio station, for those of you guys that actually have used a radio in your lifetime. Some of you guys are so young, you've never used a radio. But the life that you want 10 years from now, for those of you guys that are spiritual, woo-woo, because I can, I can dance on all sides of the woo spectrum, as I like to call it. I can get real woo-woo-y or I can get really analytical, which is like woo-resistant, right? It's like a radio station. And if I can think that my future that I want 10 years down the road from today is a, a station that I can tune my frequency to, that's what I want to be tuning myself to every single day. You must change your frequency in order to attract. That's the way that I want you to think about it, okay? So we're going to talk to your logical people that are, are woo resistant, and I'm going to talk to you spiritual people that are woo wooey as can be, because I can dance between all aspects of this one, right? And so I'm going to go into three different um, steps, three different steps that I want you to go through in order to really start to attract what it is that you want, okay? The first thing that I think is the most important thing is your vision and your belief. Your vision of what it is that you want. You have to be very clear on what it is that you want and you have to see it every single day. You have to feel it every single day. You have to normalize what it would be like to have that life. You are basically trying to brainwash yourself into believing that it is possible, right? And so, you can sit down and you can visualize the future that you want today, and that's great, but you need to do it every single day.
But before you visualize, you have to get very clear on exactly what it is that you want. Like the more clear that you are on what it is that you want, the more likely you are to be able to visualize it in detail. So many people don't have the life that they want. And then when I ask them, what is it that you want? They don't know the answer to it. They know what they don't want, but a lot of times they don't know what it is that they want. So what it is, is you have to decide what it is that you want. Then you have to sit down and visualize it in your mind's eye as often as you possibly can, at least once a day. And then the, the, the last part of that is to believe it. For me, what I think the biggest key that a lot of people don't, don't talk about in the, the process of manifesting as if it's this big, huge thing, is you have to believe with every single cell of your fucking body that it's going to happen. So like for me, I've had many things that have happened in my life that I've been seeing for so long and I've known that they were gonna happen for so long that when they happen, I'm not necessarily surprised. And so not long ago, uh, a few years ago, I reached out to Tony Robbins' team and I was like, hey, I'd love to interview Tony Robbins. And they asked about my podcast and the size of it. My podcast wasn't big enough yet. And they said, no. I was like, all right, cool. Then a few years later, um, I ended up being invited to an event. There's only like 50, 60 people, whatever it was. And Tony Robbins was there and Tony, it was Tony Robbins actual event. And there was a small room of us. And when the event ended, <clears throat> there was this big, huge line of people that were like, can I get a picture with you? Can I get a picture with you? Can I get a picture with you? And there was a big line of people who wanted to meet him, to talk to him and to take pictures with him. And Lauren, my girlfriend at the time, now wife was like, Hey, before we leave, do you want to get a picture with Tony Robbins? And I was like, no, I'm good. And she's like, really? Why not? And I was like, because I'm going to meet him one day, one-on-one. -on -one. She's like, all right. And so she knows that I get so hardcore in belief and believing in the future that I see in my mind that she doesn't even really question anymore, which is what's awesome. She just trusts that like, all right, he's going to go and create it. A couple of years pass after this event and I get an email from somebody. Hey, this is, you know, so-and-so at Tony Robbins' team. Uh, we would love to have, uh, love to be on the Mindset Mentor podcast if you're okay with that. I was like, sure. So then leading up, like everybody knew that it was going to be happening. All, all these people are like, are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? You're excited. I was like, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm kind of excited, you know? And they're like, why are you not more excited? You need to be celebrating yourself. You need to be celebrating yourself. You need to be, you need to take a step back and, and see how far you've come. And then the interview happened and everyone's like, how was it? Were you excited? Oh my gosh, it's such a big accomplishment. And they're like, why are you not more excited? And I said, because this interview happened years ago. Like it happened, it, it, there, there is no cell in my body that did not know, not believe that did not know that it was going to happen. So the biggest piece that I think that people don't talk about with manifesting is that there can be no ounce of disbelief that what you want is not going to happen. Like you can, that it's, it's going to happen no matter what. And so for me, when I, when I literally set my mind to something, there's not a cell out of my 40 trillion cells in my body that does not know that it's going to happen. You know, this, this house that I live in now, a few years ago, we bought it and there was 10 people bidding on the house. And Lauren was like, are you nervous and all this stuff? And I literally remember we were at the kitchen in the condo that we lived in. I looked her dead in the eye and I said to her, there is no future that exists where we do not own this house in the next coming months. Like there's no future. There's no reality where we do not own this house. Other people are bidding against it. Whatever it is, we're getting this fucking house. There is no reality that, does, that, that exists where we do not own this house and live in this house. And so I'm not saying this is like, like oh, I'm, this, this, I'm, I'm so good at what I do. I, I'm not trying to say any of that. What I'm trying to say is when I set my, my vision to what is it I want, there is no reality that exists in this universe where I don't get what it is that I want. And that to me is the biggest piece that no one ever talks about in manifesting. Like it doesn't exist. There's no reality. It doesn't exist where I don't have it. And so there's a, there's a part of attuning myself where I'm like, I, okay, I'm very clear on what it is I want. I visualize, I see it every single day. And then I know with every single cell of my body. And so when these things happen, they're not really surprises. Like if you guys saw a slam dunk contest with Mac McClung, he was this, this six, two tiny little white guy who won the dunk contest. And one of the things that they said to him is like when he was getting the trophy and it was his first week in the NBA and he also won the slam dunk contest his first week in the NBA, they're like, 
you know, are you so excited about this? And he's like, uh, yeah, like I'm, ex I'm excited, but like, I already knew this was going to happen. Like it was, it was so interesting because he, he literally spoke the same way that I did where I was like, Lauren, did you hear what he just said? And she's like, yeah, that's crazy. Cause he's like, I already knew it was going to happen. I'm big into manifesting. So when he said, I'm big into manifesting. So I knew that this was already going to happen. And so I'm ex am I excited? Yes. Am I proud? Yes. Am I surprised? No, because you shouldn't be surprised because you already know it's going to happen. So the first step, if you want to get something is you have to have the, you have to get very clear on what is it you want. You have to have the vision and you have to believe and know with every single cell in your body that it is going to happen. Okay. You're basically brainwashing yourself into knowing that it is going to happen as possible. That is the first step. If you miss that step, the other two steps don't matter at all. That's the first one. Cool. Number two is you have to develop a strategy. You can't just sit back and be like, okay, well, let's just, let's just see when it happens, right? You have to have the strategy. How are you going to do it? You have to plan it in detail, plan out the next 365 days of your life and then chunk it down to whatever it is that you want. If you look at the next 10 years of your life, chunk it down into one year increments. And then from that one year increment, like, so if you say in 10 years, I want to be worth $10 million. Cool. Great. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay. Tell me what the next 365 days look like. You plan it out. You create a strategy of exactly what is it you're going to do, how you're going to get there, what it's going to require of you. Then you take it down and make it into smaller chunks. You make it into quarterly chunks. You make it into monthly chunks. You make it into weekly chunks. You make it into what do I need to do today to take that next step towards this vision of the next 10 years of what I'm going to do. And you have to develop the strategy. One of the things that I hate about people who talk about uh, I don't hate about people. I hate about the things that people teach about manifesting is it's like you sit in, you, you decide what you want. You sit in a forest and magically it just shows up at your doorstep. No, no, no. You've got to know what it is that you want. You've got to believe in every single cell of your body. And then you've got to create a freaking plan. Like you've got to do something about it, right? Create the plan after you figure out what it is that you want. And then the last piece is execution. So number one, vision and belief. Number two, strategy and number three execution this is the part that i'm telling you drives me crazy you have to get off your ass like people always talk about the law of attraction there's a very big piece that i always say that's after the law of attraction that is the biggest piece of the law of attraction and it's the last six letters of attraction which is action the law of attraction requires the law of action you have to get your ass up and you have to work towards it Nothing in this universe is going to happen until you make it happen. And when you truly believe and you work your ass off, nothing in the universe will stop you from getting to where it is that you're trying to go. People don't create the future that they want. They create the habits and they create the habits, create the future that they want. And so when you look at, okay, this is where I need to be in 10 years. I only borrow $10 million. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I need to chunk it down into a year. What is it that I need to do this year? And what's the, 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 the plan that I need to do this year? Okay, let me start to plan it out. What do I need to do this month? What do I need to do this, this, this quarter? I'm sorry, this quarter, this month, this week, this day. And then what you do is you work towards it. The biggest missing piece that I see is that people think that just by thinking they're going to get the world that they want and the life that they want and the money that they want, the relationship they want, that it's just going to somehow show up on their doorstep. Right? Like imagine if, if what you're trying to attract through manifesting is the perfect relationship, but you don't leave the house. That person is not going to come knocking at your door. You got to get out of the house. You got to go to places where you might run into them. Whether that be a relationship for romantic relationship or whether that's a business partnership or whether that's people who are going to support you on this path. You have to take action. So many people want a different life but they're not willing to take action. They want to create a life that they love, but they're not willing to take action. And I'm here to tell you, if you're trying to sit around and manifest the life that you want, but you're not gonna get off your ass, you're not gonna create what you want. And so there's a three-step process that you have to follow. The first thing is you have to get really clear on what it is that you want. You have to develop that vision and you have to believe and know with every single, I don't even like the word believe. You have to know with every single cell of your body that's going to happen. Next thing, what you got to do, you got to create a strategy. You've got a plan. You've got to put the entire plan. Put your life together as if you are an architect. An architect is not just going to go and build a house. They're going to plan it out in every single detail. Like the house that we have now when we bought it, it was a custom built home about eight years before we bought it. 
and they gave us some blueprints and it's so cool because it's literally down to like the the centimeter of this house of what they had you know the 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 level changes the steps that need to be here the width the height the depth everything every single thing was planned out before they could actually go and start to build the house that's the strategy that's the planning that's what you're trying to create and then the execution if you're building the house you've got to go and actually start to dig put the concrete in place put the walls in place put the glass up put everything in, in that you need so you've got to actually see the three-step process of knowing what it is that you want seeing the vision seeing it every single day starting to attune your inner frequency to that life that you want into knowing with every single cell of your body that you're going to attract that thing that is that you want you've got to then create a plan and plan exactly what it is that you want and the last thing is you've got to get out and actually start to create it you've got to execute and take action execute and take action execute and take action if you follow these this three-step process you will create the life that you want the only thing that's in your way is you you've got to go out and create it so that's what i got for you for today's episode if you love this episode please share it on your instagram stories and tag me in it rob dial jr r-o-b-d-i-a-l-j-r and with that i'm going to leave you the same way i leave you every single episode Make it your mission, make someone else's day better. I appreciate you, and I hope that you have an amazing day.